And this is exactly what we're seeing right now. And some of the terms from back then that I remember reading in the report, they were talking about flash mobs. What was a flash mob? I said to myself in 2005, I don't understand what it means. Well, we do now. You look at Turkey, you look at Kiev. One day, everything is fine. The next day, the city is being burned down by people we don't know where they came from. That's a flash mob. It was in the report, which is the backbone to my book, Transhumanism. Amazing. And, and, and just put it all in scope, and then we'll drill down into uh, to details. What is the master plan? If you say you had four minutes till break, four minutes to talk to three million people and encapsulate, if they succeed, what will be left and what the time scales are? You know, it's interesting because, you know, the basic, the basic theory is this. If you think of a pyramidal structure, Alex, 6,000 years ago, who controlled knowledge? High priests. And they fed it to us one little droplet at a time. We, the great unwashed then or now, basically were fed this information just enough with, so we can do our daily, you know, chores and, 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 and live day to day. Well, today, this pyramid is upside down pyramid because of the uh, internet revolution. Anybody, anywhere in the world, be it you, I, somebody in Japan, or a Koya Indian sitting in a tree in the middle of an Amazon forest uh, with a computer and access to internet, has access at his fingertips to the entire history of knowledge of mankind. So if you're the elite, that's bad news for them because suddenly the playing field because of these technological advancements has been evened on the one hand, but on the other hand, the elite said to themselves, we gotta do something. And they're using the technology and the advancement to create a bigger and bigger and bigger gap, which we thought were, you know, was actually being bridged. So, you know, if you spent trillions or quadrillions or gazillions of dollars in trying to, uh, you know, use the technology to get so far ahead of what we are right now, you can actually do this because they have the money. And, the, you know, one of the things I'm talking about in this book, and it is, I think, absolutely revolutionary, is that our children, your children, my children, my oldest daughter is 16, they're the last truly human generation of human beings on the planet. Her children, and, you know, her children's children are going to be transhumans, posthumans, men, machine, cyborgs, beings who are not totally human, humans who are not 100 percent beings. We're lit literally living at the cusp of the greatest change in the history of mankind. And it has nothing to do with a microchip in your hand. It is technology that is so advanced that people literally will be able to, in less than a generation, download their consciousness onto a computer and live forever. And that's what a transhumanist movement is all about. And that's why my book is called Trans Evolution, The Coming Age of Human Deconstruction. And they're saying they're not going to give us free will. They're just going to do it. And it's so much more advanced than a chip. We carry a little computer that watches everything we do and tracks everything we do better than a supercomputer of 20 years ago. Now they have the quantum computers. And the key here, Daniel, is the prediction of the future where Amazon can now ship you your order before you order it with 100% accuracy. This was always the key. The literal crystal ball where they get enough data on the world and how things work. They can predict the future. And then with that data, they can manipulate the future. We're literally seeing godlike power being given to this degenerate elite. It's very interesting, Alex. In the last 50 years, we've learned more than the entire history of mankind. And in the next 20, we'll have learned more than the last 50 and then all of the history of mankind. And it's going to get to a point in about a generation and a half from now where we'll be doubling our knowledge every year. And that's something unfathomable for people because we don't even know what the future is going to look like. And that's one of the things about this book. You know, with Bilderberg, I answered a lot of the questions. But with this book, when you finish it, you have more questions than answers because it's the future. And we really don't know, even if we try to extrapolate it. There's just so many unknowns. But we certainly see where all of it is going. That's right. And the elite may be good at watching us and manipulating us. But look at they, them themselves trying to dumb us down and control us. That shows they're not enlightened right there. And uh, with this power, I, I don't know if we're going to make it out of this, Daniel. Well, you know, they need to dumb us down. You know, the debasement of education is part of it because people who are aware of what's going on, people who understand history, who understand geography, who can add, who can subtract, who are interested and keen, and who realize that what separates us from animals is this divine spark of reason that we have, which allows us 
uh, you know, to invent, to investigate, to discover to the empowered individuals with a spark of creativity to where we might have our own destiny instead of being their robot slaves. Do you know about the NSA loophole? Or maybe you think your law-abiding ways are too boring for them to care about you. Tell that to the Virginia farmer who was audited by the IRS because of her Tea Party activities. Or the Texas man who woke up to a SWAT team raid because of online comments he had made about his gun collection. No, God-fearing Americans like you are in the crosshairs. Learn how to drop off the government's radar and get off the grid at privacylockdown.com. That's privacylockdown.com. That's the sound of a 44 Magnum and Trauma Max. A high-tech hybrid Kevlar bulletproof vest from InfidelBodyArmor.com will stop it and most pistol rounds. Trauma Max is a major breakthrough in pistol-rated body armor. And prices start at just $170 per insert. More protection, more stopping power, more mobility. And it weighs less than 5 pounds. Get details at InfidelBodyArmor.com. That's I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. To thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds, just pay shipping, right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open pollinated and can be grown, harvested, and replanted endlessly. These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. First come, first served. Just cover shipping. Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. Hi folks, Alex Jones here with some important information. I want to tell you about Matt Redhawk and his team of patriots over at My Patriot Supply. Several years ago, Matt was sitting in his two-bedroom apartment, frustrated with the direction this country was headed, and the charlatans willing to sell us out for a quick buck. Deciding to take action, a company run by patriots for patriots was born. My Patriot Supply has never taken a loan or accepted outside funding. They now operate two distribution facilities and employ over 50 hardworking American men and women. It is rare to find companies who practice what they preach. And that's why I stock my pantry with high-quality storable foods from My Patriot Supply. Go to MyPatriotSupply.com forward slash Alex today for special offers on emergency food storage or call their preparedness specialist at 866-229-0927. That's 866-229-0927. Do business with someone who shares your values. MyPatriotSupply.com slash Alex. My good buddy Jimmy Vaughn bringing us Don't in. Want no shackles on me. Playing that acoustic. Don't want no shackles. Don't want no shackles on me. See, that's the issue, is they are seducing us with these technologies. They're rolling them out. They let it have some good aspects, but down the road, we're already now to that point, it's about total human control. The NSA, all of it, and like children, the public are taught to deny that this stuff's even going on. But Daniel Estelin, 
is an expert on this. He has the sources. So much of this is now out in the open. A big hope is within the establishment itself, they may you know, need to basically get religion to understand this program will destroy them. But they say they're willing to do that if it allows them to have immortality. They believe they'll have immortality uh, merging with her, uh, to use that example with a popular film out there, a very powerful dystopic film I want to do a review of soon. Uh, and that's what we're facing here. Th this is the end of humanity. Uh, you can see this technology is dumbing us down. It's not empowering us overall because it's being deployed in a dehumanizing way. Daniel Lestlin, this is the most powerful interview ever with you. You're really getting fiery here talking about to be or not to be. That is the question and that spark of humanity. Well, I choose to be, be a human. I I've seen all the disasters these people engage in. Uh, and what I'm saying is they've got a big plan. They are visionaries. They're in control. They steal our wealth. But I'm saying I don't like their dream, and I don't think their dream will succeed. But regardless, we need to educate the public about their nightmare they're trying to create. Daniel Estelin. Absolutely, Alex. You know, God bless you. You know, what, what is absolutely, uh, you know, is uh, true is that the rise of the machine is here. And we're facing the time when the unconscious evolution period is almost finished. And we come to this new period when a controlled human evolution can and will happen and the elite believe that it will happen. Technological progress will be concentrated on making a new body for the human being. The plan is to incrementally move the human mind into more disembodied and futuristic vehicles. Not bodies, but vehicles. First, a humanoid robot controlled entirely by a human brain via brain-machine interface. Then a conscious human brain transplanted into a humanoid robot, then consciousness uploaded to a computer, and finally a hologram that contains a full conscious human mind. DARPA is finding dozens of human augmentation projects around the world to radically improve the performance, mental capacity, and resilience, first in soldiers, obviously, and then later on in humans. Everything from tapping the potential of, of, of our unconscious mind to augmented cognition and the creation of, of an uninhibited combat vehicles, whereby the military expects in the very near future for individual pilots to fly entire squadrons of robot planes. They're working on, you know, this mind-boggling experience such as cybernetic uh, insects. And we see this in films like G.I. Joe. It's already there. It is a total genetic rewrite of the planet, overthrowing the creation. And then you look at the byproduct, the fruits of all their programs. It's dehumanizing. It's not even empowering. And they're not being honest with the public. All the white papers you're mentioning that your book's based on, it's out there. It's, it's on record, but people need to understand this is the end of humanity, and they are aggressively right now trying to destroy the family. Vladimir Putin speaks out against that, and he's a bad person. You know, because of the synergy, Alex, the interplay of three great revolutions, the quantum, the computer and biotech revolutions, again, we have learned so much in such a short period of time. The marvels of science like the internet, telecommunication satellites, laser beams, radio, television, microwaves, structures of DNA molecules, biotechnology, all of it ultimately comes from quantum theory, and they dominate this. You know, uh, we have the means through genetics, robotics, information technology, and nanotech to control matter, and energy, and life itself. We have never seen anything like this before, and it is raising profound questions about what it means to be human. And some of these questions, you know, we're seeing by public officials. Putin is talking about this, which is one of the reasons I'm mentioning this. It is being completely ignored in the United States. But this intense cross-pollination between the computer, biotech, and quantum revolutions will give us unprecedented power in the 21st century. And this is something that, as you said, people simply are unaware of. That's right. And if, I'm going to talk to you in the next long segment. This is intriguing, Daniel, about uh, your ideas to try to turn this around. Because I believe if we can have a revolution through your book and other systems of understanding about this and have humans know that they've got to actively be part of this decision-making process, it could actually empower humanity with the nanotech, the rest of it, and we could literally be launching space fleets in just a few decades to colonize space in a way to empower humanity while maintaining our humanity, but also, if we choose, then having a separate, almost avatar that we test these systems with. And I believe that is the program that should be followed. But I want to talk about this on the other side with you. 
We're on the march.